Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Leslie, this is The Whole Shebang. And I wanted to do another video about items that I have picked up at the Goodwill bins near me. Um, I have been doing these videos because I have, after 10 months or so of not going to the bins, I've been going back to the bins and um, getting stuff for um, to resell on Poshmark and eBay. Those are the two things I, uh, the two platforms that I'm currently selling on. I am, I just started doing some Plato's Closet and things like that, but I can talk about that later. I'm going to do a quick video. Uh, I think I'm actually going to do a Goodwill Bins 101 so then I don't have to do it anymore. If you are here, you are probably someone who enjoys good, the Goodwill Bins, so you are familiar with them, but if you are not, I'm going to do a quick 45 seconds. Please skip forward if you are familiar with them. The Goodwill Bins is a pay by the pound um, store. They are oftentimes associated with the Goodwill Bins, I mean the Goodwills. Um, these are called Goodwill Outlet Centers. The reason why they're called the bins is because they had these large blue bins for me. And they um, all the excess stuff that does not sell in the regular Goodwill and or which does not. Um, sometimes if, if the donations, if there are too many donations, the way it's been explained to me, they will um, sell, they will sell the um, just put it right into the bins like it's too much for them to process in any given uh, week. And the third time that they do it is when they have um, um, th things from other um, stores that have not sold or things like that. So it's excess from other stores. If So it's pretty much excess stuff. This The bins is pretty much the last stop before it goes into the, um, the landfill. So um, you pay by the pound at my Goodwill bins. Um, you pay for less than 20 pounds. You pay a um, dollar sixty four a pound for between twenty and fifty. You pay a dollar thirty four, and over fifty, you pay a dollar nineteen a pound. Um, one of the things I will tell you that at my Goodwill bins, up until about a year ago, they always combined. So there's two things you can buy, really, more than that. But it's hard goods, which is things like, you know, this is a hard good or anything that's not a clothing, which they call textiles or a fabric. Those things are, so there's clothing and there's hard goods. In addition to that, they also do sell books for 25 cents. I think it's 25 cents a paperback and 50 cents a hardback and glass is 69 cents a pound. But for the most part, the stuff I'm getting is either hard goods or textiles. And that, that is for those prices. So it's less than 20 pounds. It's $1.64 a pound. I was surprised when I was watching other videos that some of the people say that they pay a dollar, let's say 89 a pound, and that's for everything, including, oh, and shoes are 2.99. So it's textiles, hard goods, shoes are 2.99, there's books and there's glass. So those are the five really categories. Um, I was surprised listening to someone else, They it was clear from their description of what they were getting at the Google bins that they pay a dollar 89 or 2.99 or a dollar 99 a pound, regardless of what they get including shoes and books and things like that. So at mine, it is a little different. Yours may vary. I started going to the Goodwill bins because I started watching videos and I start, I wanted to learn. I have one, I live outside of Philadelphia, so there's about three of them within an hour. Um, one of them is about 30 minutes away. And um, let me just get into it now because I've been talking enough. Okay, the first thing I wanted to show you is this. I was surprised by, this is a, a uh, it is a, um, a fleece essentially it is by the company is called peach love i'm going to show you that peach love i i want to say right now i went to a wedding last weekend peach love this is a size medium i was surprised when i looked these up at how much these things were going for i am go i was i liked it because it's comfy and big but i look like a like a eskimo in these things so i am going to um try to sell this um, because I was surprised by how much they sell for. Um, that was, um, a surprise. That is a brand that I was unfamiliar with. Um, this is a, excuse me, Ann Taylor loft dress. Um, it still has a tag on it, which is for $79 or thereabout. Loft is, if you're not familiar, is the, I want to say the, the lesser expensive version of Ann Taylor. This is a really pretty dress. Um, it's short sleeve, the, the tag is on it. Again, this is the kind of thing, because I am paying by the pound, I, um, 
this is probably let's say 10 ounces right so if you pay $1.64 a pound you're paying about 10 cents an ounce if you're paying for 134 a pound you're paying about nine eight or nine cents a pound so it's about an 80 cents for this so if i start this at this is the time of year if i start this for 12.99 and if i get anywhere 15 to or more for that on ebay i will probably start that a little bit more than poshmark because they take a bit of a cut that's that i do want to tell you that when i went th on this particular day i paid 20 th this was interesting because as i said up until about a year ago they would combine the cost the 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 value of the um the i'm trying to think of the word for both the hard goods and the textiles and if you had over 20 pounds they would combine the two you know the the weight is the word i'm looking for suddenly last year they stopped doing that and they said no we don't do that anymore you get it you have to be over 20 for the textiles and over 20 by um the the um hard goods that very infrequently happened for me so then i started paying the higher price for some reason this really nice guy who it was i had never seen it before but then again i haven't been there until about two two months ago is when the, i've only been there like three times in the last two months he said to me oh you're really close to 20 pounds do you want to um get something else because th that will push you up to the next over 20 pounds and then you'll be paying less if you pay 20 pounds at a dollar 34 i was going to do the math a dollar 34 it's like 26 pounds whereas if you do 19 pounds at 136 164 a pound you're actually spending more so it at some point i'm i'm, I'm probably not explaining this very well but at some point it's better just to get the to actually go over the next weight limit because you're paying less per pound i didn't explain that very well but anyway this is another thing new with tag it's uh old navy it originally it doesn't have its original um thing but this is just a really super basic piece that you can wear i would wear this under as an undershirt in the winter but it's just um this is something i will probably keep for myself because it's probably not worth it is a medium it's probably not really worth it to um try to sell that and uh, i would maybe give it to Plato's closet or something but or actually i've been donating a lot of things to oh, i could give both of these i've been donating a lot of things with tags to the ukrainian um church near us and they've been sending them over to ukraine so maybe i'll keep those two things separate and donate them that's a good thing this is a shirt i never heard of before this is another one but you can tell by the by the way it is it's called Mar um Marina Martini da Firenze. It's a size small. It's 100% cotton. It is, um, it just looks like a really nice brand. It is a very, very simple white shirt. So far, you know, pretty, I, I can just tell this is a really good quality and I'm going to look that up. All, these are all the clothes. This is a really nice shirt that I'm going to, um, donate um not donate gives um i'm going to try to sell that myself here are some things this is a saturday and sunday dress it is a i had another dress exactly like this this is an olive green they sell this at anthropology you can see it's really cute it's got a cow neck um it is an anthropology dress as i just said of course it's all wrinkled i did wash everything but it's a pretty simple dress it's got some room in it which i like um i tried to i think i get i offered the other one this is a size medium i tried to give my other my daughter uh i think she took the small um she's really good she's a minimalist so she doesn't take a lot of stuff so i'm gonna i'm gonna um try to sell that one here is a dress, I mean a shirt. This is actually another anthropology with new with tag anthropology. This is called One September, um, which is interesting because look at how cute that is. It's a one and a nine and it's called One September. I, it was, it took me a while. This is this kind of boho shirt, I guess. Um, Southwestern, I don't know how they would describe it, but it's just a sleeveless extra, some room in there. That's great. Um, I do want to apologize because if you're looking at my nails, I'm just going to show you out, right? I went to a wedding last week and I had my son, my daughter gave me, uh, uh, did my nails and we can't find the nail polish remover. Um, this is just a cool, really cool, I think, actually, 
t-shirt. It's called The Beatles, obviously. Um, it's a size small, 50% cotton, 50% polyester. Again, um, I just think it's a cool shirt. I, that's it. I, that's why I got it. Um, when I when I was close to 20 pounds and the guy said, why don't you just go back and get one other thing? I actually went back and got this, which, so what I did at the beginning, if you're familiar, this is blue and gray. Oh, that's interesting. Blue and gray loft. That is not where I thought that was from. This is just a hoodie, like sweatshirt kind of thing. Just casual, like summer wear down the beach, you know, super casual. It is a size small. It is, I'm sorry, it's an extra small. So um, it is not something I can wear. So I am going to um, maybe play this closet that or donate that. Um, I'm going to put the stuff that I'm doing to, yeah, over here. Okay. This is a, I got these because I was hoping, these are Fila, F-I-L-A brand, the size medium. These are fleece sweatpants joggers and um i wanted to i i got them for i may have gotten them for me they're size medium i may have gotten them for me and i again this i got these about two weeks ago i don't remember why i got these um but they're in good shape maybe i thought my daughter would like them and maybe i'll wear them i don't remember um okay this was a cool find this is older Oh, I apologize. I sleep so poorly. I apologize. Someone once wrote in the comments, oh, you're so boring. You're even boring to yourself. That's not why I'm, I'm, I'm yawning. Okay. This is a cool shirt. Back in my day, these were the big thing. This is a little cost. There's the alligator. This is um, a size 2XL, which is actually bigger than anyone in my family. But um, it's a great shirt. It's a nice shirt. It's just a men's casual shirt. It's pretty big. It's nice. If you see anything you'd like, please let me know. I won't. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do with that. I'm going to figure that out. Okay. Next was a Vineyard Vines. Just a Vineyard Vines long sleeve tee in the back. Just having the green elephant. Um, I'm trying to see. No, no. Um, just a pretty basic tea. So this day I spent, actually the, it was over there, how much I paid. I got some stuff for my, our new puppy, which I told you about. Um, her name is Mabel. Um, Mabel is, was right there. I opened the door so she could wander. Our backyard is enclosed. Um, she, I, the first day my husband came back and I explained this in one of my videos, they had bought her some toys and I like for $10 and I was like, Oh my gosh, I can get it so much cheaper at the bins. That's why I actually, I think that's the second time I went to the bins was to get stuff for Mabel. But, um, I did get her a couple of things to play with that is over there. Um, and so that was good because I got her some play toys. She's a puppy and she, she chews. This is called simply Southern. This is a size large. My daughter used to love simply Southern and now she doesn't want it anymore. But this is just a pink long sleeve shirt. It says down the side, do what you love. It's kind of like one of those really simple summer shirts on the beach with the big beachy. It's kind of got that Lily Pulitzer vibe, I think, to it. Um, but anyway, that's that. Uh, got to figure out what I'm going to do with that. Next is a, oh, I, I dropped it, excuse me. Oh, I got this for me. I will wear literally virtually any kind of, um, it's a medium, it's Caslon is the name. I will wear any big bulky sweater. And this, uh, a turtleneck, I wear turtlenecks pretty much from September 15th to April 15th easily. And this one is one that I will definitely wear. <laughs> and um, I got this for me. This is um, I think someone, I, I saw one time that Caslon is sold at, I don't, I don't, I don't quote me on this, but I, I, do, I think they do this, have this at Anthropology, but anyway, that's that. Here's another sweat, uh, shirt. Oh, my son told me who this was and I forget. Oh, it's the Nightmare Before Christmas, I think. 
That's Jack Skelton. Uh, is that Skellington? Is that his name? And this was by Tolex. Is that the name? Anyway, just a cotton tea. Give me the here is a pair of Rain, R-E-I-G-N. That's on the back. This is that. These are like $20. If I put this up on, I, I might do Plato's Closet. I'm going to try to do Plato's Closet for a lot of these. This is just, I would think, something they would take. We'll have to see. Um, this is a, this is actually a really nice brand, which I learned um, a couple years ago. This is called uh, an original an original penguin by Munson wear this is a really super simple wait what is that oh that has I might have to rewash that because that looks like there's some kind of underarm I'm gonna have to definitely wash that I'm glad I saw that this is a super easy um, black, uh, blue and red checked shirt that is actually a nice brand their clothes are expensive if you ever see that. These are things to look out. Is it Bolo, they call them be on the lookout. You're not gonna make hundreds of dollars, but you're gonna you're gonna make some money. Um this is another Vineyard Vines little little boys t-shirt, which is super cute, and it is a size 4T. Just a little red, white, and blue for I mean for um Fourth of July coming up. That's cute. This is something I got for me originally, but then I looked it up and I think I actually may sell it. This is a, it's hard to see, but it is actually sold by, at Walmart. But it is, for some reason, selling for like 20 to $30 online. It is a beach towel that is, has got a big anchor to it. Um, I have said many times we have a um, rental unit down, uh, down the beach and we, um, I always like to buy, pick up extra towels at the bins when I go. Um, we don't supply towels, but I always have some extra there just in case they need them. And if they need them and want to use them, then they don't. Um, I don't care if they disappear, quite honestly. Here is something that I almost died when I saw because I think I had this myself. This is called uh, Deans of Scotland. It is a old vintage... Um, Farrell sweater. When I was maybe ninth, tenth, and eleventh grade, maybe later, because my senior portrait is of me wearing, I think mine is yellow, a Farrell sweater. Mine had three buttons, um, and I would work pretty much all week and take my money up and take the bus up to Chestnut Hill and buy myself a Farrell sweater. This is vintage and. This is probably going to get me like 40 or $50, to be quite honest with you. There appear to be no holes, which is pretty amazing. That's something I have had so many problems with moths in this place. Um, I really do not take care of my woolen like I should. Oh, as I spoke too soon. Literally. Oh, my God. I probably just got this. Look at this. As I'm speaking, right there is a hole. It's probably just from sitting here in my, from my living room. Because I really don't think that was there when I got this. I looked over it pretty carefully. Anyway, okay, nothing you can do about it. This is, um, this is an example of the kind of stuff that you will get at the bins. This, because I'm going to show you something, this is a Michael Kors. It's a size small. That is Michael Kors. Um, it obviously came from either another thrift store because it has this weird tag or maybe a rummage sale or something like that. It's just a big black, pretty sheer cropped, I mean, a cinched at the waist shirt. Again, um, I don't know what I'm gonna do with that. I'm trying to get rid of a lot of my stuff and I might start, use, I had never done a Plato's Closet before, so I might try to do that um, with these kind of things. This is a um, really pretty, Lily Pulitzer dress that I got. I was very excited. I used to do some work for Lily Pulitzer, so I am always excited when I see a Lily Pulitzer dress. Back in the day, these would have cost like $98. It's a cotton dress. Look how pretty that is with the sailboats. Um, I think I'll get $20 to $30 for this at least. Um, I'm going to price it and not take less than that. So um, it's a really pretty 
um, dress, um, and I think that was a good find. Um, here is a pair of, oh, these were new with tag. These were new with tag, and I do have to take the price tag. Oh, I have to take that off, too. Um, hmm. Ow, that hurt. Um, you see, this is an example. This cost five twenty nine at the at the Goodwill store, but no one bought it. It's still new with tag. You can see these. Um, the tags are still attached. They're five fifty jean shorts. Um, I don't know what size. Sixteen waist, sixteen or something. So you can see these were are kind of like just jean shorts. Um, Levi jean shorts, I think, is a good deal. Um, and that was part of the twenty pounds that I got. Um, here are some ties. I do like ties. Here's a Kenneth Cole New York tie. I like ties. I have three boys and my husband, all of who wear ties at various times. So it's ridiculous. This is maybe two ounces at 10 cents an ounce. It's a 20 cents for a Kenneth Cole so tie that probably retailed for $48. I don't know. $30. I don't know. Here's another one. Jeffrey Bean. Got another one. This is another simple tie. This I will keep for myself, um, or rather my, my, my boys. This is just a regular old tie. Um, okay, let's, I'm trying to get through this. Oh, gosh, if there is a hole in this, because I know there was no hole in this. This is a 100% cashmere, extra small polo, Ralph Lauren blue sweater. I know there was no holes in this one. So if there are, it's because I'm being eaten by, I'm getting eaten up by moths. I have to sell these things before they, the moths get to them. Dear Lord. Oh. Anyway, this was 100% cashmere. I found it at the bins. Really nice. It is an extra small, which does not fit me. Um, I, I guess, but either my daughters did not want this. This is just a really unbelievably soft sweater. Um, unbelievably soft. Um, great find at the bins. And so that's, that's really nice. Okay. Next, I found, this is really cool, actually, and vintage. This is a vintage Ralph Lauren red blazer. And I apologize. This has a name. I want to say it's Intarsia, I-N-T-A-R-S-I-A. -I this, and this is actually raised, if you can see. This, these sell, these are considered desirable. This is a size 4P, I think size 4p yes so I think I'm going to get 30 or 40 dollars for this um that's that was a good that was a good find I was happy about that here is another I found a lot I always pick up Ralph Lauren this is a Lauren uh, jeans LRL this is a really pretty just plain uh, shirt actually that might what size is that that would pop extra large I hope it would fit me um that would probably fit me it was just like a really like casual like you know casual with jeans or I mean you could do a thousand things with that pretty color it's like I want to say it's like salmon between salmon and cantaloupe but anyway I thought that was a pretty color and I was happy about that here is something that I found this is one of those taggies these things I always these things crack me up this whoever whoever started these taggies back I'd say maybe 15 years ago made a million dollars it's literally just a soft material that babies love with these little tags that babies love to you know these little silky things and I picked this up this was maybe 15 cents I think that I don't know what they sell for I've never bought one new I got one as a gift excuse me for my old, one of my children but anyway this is a great um little pickup um this is a made well if you know made well that's sold that's Made well. This is a super casual little white shirt. Really casual, very simple shirt. Um, probably cost $48 in the store. I'm happy um, to get $15, $10, $15 for it. Um, this was a great find. This was a Tommy Hilfiger with the tag on it. Originally $99.50. Um, this is this white Sherpa with the big H on it, it is a size me. It's, I think it's a small, yeah, it is small. Um, because I wish I knew someone with an, whose name began or ended with H, because I think that is funny. Um, I don't think anyone would know that that's 
or somebody went to Harvard or something. Anyway, um, it does say Tommy Hilfiger. This was new with PAG. Um, I'm looking, I've been looking online. These are selling for about 50 to $60. So there you go. That was a great find. I got a whole bunch of shorts because I want to get rid of them. I, I, I mean, I want to, <laughs> I want to sell them at, um, Plato's Closet. That's a Lucky Brand size four. These are called the Abbey Short. Abbey Short right there. Cute. You know, just rolled. Cute shorts. This is, you could obviously, the same person donated these because this is the American Eagles, American Eagle size. I think this is a size 10. Short. Well, I shouldn't say that the same person donated. I meant the same. They came off the rack. They, they might not have sold at the regular store. A lot of the, I washed everything. So these may have had tags on them. And this is a size four American Eagle short. Again, a cute, just an American Eagle size short. Okay, we're getting to the end. Here is a Bowdoin dress. This is actually pretty heavy. This is, Bowdoin is a nice brand. Let me show you. And this is a size medium, I think it is. That's Bowdoin. That's a brand you will see. That is a nice, this sells for, this is like a jersey bottom. And um, this is a knit top. It's a very pretty dress. It's a shame I'm not working out in the real world. I'm working remotely, so I'm not wearing dresses like I used to, because I would definitely have worn that dress. This is another dress I definitely would have worn. This is called Tabitha. This is sold at Anthropology. this brand. This is a really pretty, just blue. I, look, look how, see, this is what I love about the bins. You get these great things, just like a blue dress. It's got pockets on the side. It's simple. You wear it with a white sweater or a pink sweater or a blue sweater, or whatever, over the um, summer. But again, like I said, I'm not working in the office right now. We may be going back, but for now I am not. This was a really interesting um, piece that I found. This is definitely vintage. I thought I had a, I thought I vaguely remembered seeing a, um, what's it called, a um, tag on this, but now I'm not seeing it. Look at this dress. It's a turtleneck, like groovy. The pattern is amazing. It doesn't, it may be homemade. I have no idea, but it's definitely old. If you see the bottom, the bottom has, if it was, they, someone definitely took out the hem. I can tell you in a minute if it was homemade. No, it doesn't look like it was homemade. The, Cause you can see from this that it was not homemade, but someone, someone may have cut all, out a bigger dress and then cut it down. Yeah, I'm going to have to do some research on this dress because, um, or look at it more closely because this is a great, I love this, this pattern and it's a turtleneck dress. It's got a zipper up the back. It's just cool. I just like that dress. Um, okay. This is a white, this, I love this dress and it's called Papillon. I'm not familiar with this. This is a white crochet dress again. Uh, with an under slip. I mean, honestly, I wouldn't wear white to a wedding, but you could definitely wear this. This is a great dress for the summer if um, it is a size small. It looks really small though, but it's just a great, look at the crocheting on that, how pretty that is. It's a really pretty dress. Okay, that's that. This, this I picked up because I actually thought that I was going to sell it and now I might just redonate it. I, I don't know. Iguana Jack is the name of this. This is what all the swimmers like wore, like the, you know, the lifeguard swimmers wore these, like, I don't know what they're called. Like, they're not hoodies. I don't know. But anyway, um, it's got the kangaroo pocket in the front. It's, it's just a cool, just a cool thing. Um, and the last thing I got was this, which is just universal thread. It's funny because this is extra large. Is that extra extra large? I have a similar one in, I think it's green. That's extra large that I use. I wear myself. 
Um, this is Universal Thread, I believe. It's actually just Target, but I love the color, and it's so big, and my, my daughter always likes big sweaters that she wears over tight, so I picked this up for her. I don't know if she will like this, um, and I am going to need to to depill it, which is funny because I wanted to show you. I picked up this, this not this time, about two years ago, at the Goodwill bins um, as a hard good. And um, it was two ninety seven. It, it was two ninety seven at the bins, and I mean in the store, no one so bought it, and so then they put it in the bins. And um, this, I have this exact same one that I purchased about a week before, I think for nine ninety nine on Amazon. So now I have two of them. Um, but again, this because of the weight was probably a dollar. So I got it because I never know when that one's going to break or break down. I have one back there, and so, but I happened to pick th this one up, and I started depilling some of my stuff today. Um, I just wanted to show you, I was surprised that, if you don't know what I mean when I'm saying depilling, you literally just go like this, I'm going to show you, and put it over the fabric, and it picks up, and, and takes the pills off of your sweaters. You just take this little bottom part off the bottom, and it will have collected the pill stuff down there. So anyway, that's just my little, my little depiller 101 thing. Thank you so much for watching this. I definitely was rushing because my daughter's coming home. So I was a little less animated than I usually am. I was just trying to get it through. So I hope you like my stuff. I will um, be going more often. I am taking a little, I think, I hope, sabbatical from my regular job because I have so many upcoming events between Easter. I have two great college graduations. I am maybe going, um, yeah, I just have a lot going on for the next couple of months. So I do project-based work. So I am going to focus now on my eBay and Poshmark business. And um, I, I think I keep on saying that and then every time I keep on getting dragged back in. Thank you so much for watching this video. My name is Leslie. This is the whole shebang. If you have any questions or if you have seen any of these things, if you are familiar with any of these brands, please let me know. And thank, if you like this kind of content, please like and subscribe down there. Thank you so much. Bye-bye now.